guys, it's Laura from Lightning Cosplay. Today I will show you how I made the scar prosthetic for Ralph's old Yurt von Everweg cosplay. I made an encapsulated silicone prosthetic, which just means that the silicone is, yeah, encapsulated between two layers of baldies, like this. This is my favorite way to make prosthetics because you can thin down the edges with acetone and this makes it super easy to blend them with the skin and yeah, it looks pretty cool. If you haven't heard of these materials, don't panic, I will show you everything. So let's start! First I made a super simple pattern out of tape to get the right shape and size of the scar. Then I traced the pattern onto a wooden board. For sculpting I used Monster Clay Soft. This was my first time working with this clay and I fell in love with it. It is so easy to use and does not stick to your fingers and tools like other oil-based clays. Sculpting the scar was quite easy. There's not much to say about. The most important thing is that you have a super thin edge. To get a skin texture I used foil and a rough port sponge. Looks very nice. I made a super simple silicone flat mold. First step is to add flashing around the edges. The flashing gives you an idea how much baldies you have around the edges and it is also great if you want to store your prosthetics. You will see this later. The 45 degree angle makes it easier to remove the prosthetic. I just built walls out of water-based clay. Then I mixed up my silicone. I used Mold Star 20T because it cures super fast. Degassing your silicone makes sure that you don't get any bubbles. Pour in the silicone and wait until it is fully cured. Ta-da! The mold is done! Next put a thin layer of Vaseline over the silicone mold. Bollies is a cap plastic, which can be thinned with acetone. After you have thinned it with acetone, you can spray it on with your airbrush. Sorry, I messed it up with a focus, but I am just spraying on the bollies with my airbrush. I always spray about 7 to 9 layers. You could also do this with a brush, but airbrushing gives it a more even coating. Oh, and make sure to wear a respirator. Next, I mixed up the silicone. I used Dragon Skin Fast. I added a bit of blue, red and yellow flocking powder. I also added silicone pigments. The flocking gives the illusion of a more realistic skin tone. Degassing to prevent any bubbles. But don't worry, this is an optional step. Next, I spread the silicone onto the mold. I'm using a flexible spatula to squeegee off the excess silicone. Be careful not to push so hard that you rip the cap plastic from the mold. To make sure that there is no silicone on the edge, I go around with a cotton tip. This makes sure you later can dissolve the edges with acetone. When the silicone is cured, add more layers of baldies to encapsulate the silicone. The main reason why you should encapsulate your silicone and cap plastic is that it is super easy to blend. The edges can be dissolved with acetone, which gives you a seamless edge. Use baby powder or talcum to carefully remove the prosthetic. And done! 
You can use it prosthetic only one time, so I always make multiple of them to have enough for the next conventions. And now I can make hundreds of scars and put them all over Ralph's body. Everywhere. For next time I have planned a video on how I applied the prosthetic and how I made the full old geared makeup. So, as always, if you don't want to miss that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you want to support us, you can also check out our books and our shop and level up your cosplay skills. So then, see you next time. Bye bye!